This is a video for the Sterling Equestrian Group. Well, Katie, Alex, we took Charm down to the uh, the Carolina International uh, this weekend. Uh, this was uh, another step up. Poor old Charm's been fast-tracked up the levels. Uh, it was the first time he competed at the two-star short level, and <clears throat> we threw him in the deep end a bit, to be honest. Uh, there was, uh, I think, over 40 horses in the class, and uh, he's been so good... Uh, I didn't see any reason why we shouldn't have a crack at it. Now, he was a bit inexperienced in all phases, but he uh, was still bloody good. Uh, so this is the dressage test that was on Thursday. It wasn't our best test, I've got to be honest with you. He's been working really well. There was a, a few movements that um, are a bit new to him, like the, the Holt Rainback, Counter Canter, and um, <clears throat> and to be honest, the, the connection that we had between... Uh, um, sometimes he gets a little bit spooky and a little bit mouthy and you'll see in this next leg yield he starts getting a, a little bit inconsistent with the rain and a little bit I don't want to say a bit naughty um, so it's a bit of a, a throughness thing uh, so anyway we've got, we got to really ensure even though he's been going so well on the in the dressage he still uh, still needs to have that sort of even connection to get the the super duper duper scores. Now, by saying that, we still scored really, really well. Um, it was two judges um, um, ma marking us, and we got a, a score of thirty-one, which is uh, still very, very impressive. But there, he, you know, if we can get him perfect in these tests, he's low twenties. Um, uh, and we, you know, we were with a, against some stiff competition uh, against a lot of horses that had been. Uh, competing at this level for for years um so he's really really good um but by saying that we we sort of uh need to uh keep working away at his flat work and uh he's a beautiful mover he's got great walk great trot great canter and where we lost a couple of points is uh, when he loses concentration and sort of nods his head or it gets a little bit funny with his mouth uh, it's the old kiss of death with the old dressage judge. Um, you'll see in a minute the show jumping. He was fantastic. Um, I'm sure it's still very, very mu much easier than whatever Charms had to jump in his past, but I'd say the course would have been a metre 15, some, maybe up to a metre 20 now at the two-star level. Uh, lucky for us, there was no... Uh, there was no Liverpool. Uh, Peter Wilde was up coaching me earlier in the week in Pennsylvania. And um, and uh, we jump schooled the uh, the Liverpool a couple of times. So I was a little bit disappointed there was no Liverpool in the course. Uh, the cross country was as hard and as technical and as challenging as uh, as Charms ever seen, and he was absolutely brilliant. Um, you know, just looking at the scores of the whole competition out of the the uh, sort of. 35 40 horses that were in it only about 20 of them actually went around the cross country clear and uh, charm was one of them uh, we picked up uh, we picked up a couple of time penalties um, picked up 2.4 time penalties which I wasn't too worried about I sort of figured after this dressage test that was it was good but we we're a little bit off the leaders I sort of said to myself that um, he probably wasn't going to win this class, so I, I didn't sprint him or push him too hard around the uh, around the cross country. You can see here our, our rain back here needs a bit of work. It's the first time he's had to do rain back in the in the test, and we've been practicing at home, but he was uh, a little bit distracted for some reason. He's he's a funny bugger. He he can be absolutely perfect, or he can be a bit grumpy on the flat sometimes. And uh, sadly, at this competition, he uh, was a bit cranky. Uh, so going back to the cross country, you'll see a little bit of it here. Um, it was quite tough. There was a double of corners, a hanging rail into the water jump, a really, really tough coffin fence. And uh, he, was, uh, he was a good boy. He jumped it all well. And uh, I think from memory, we were... About 10, 10 seconds too slow on the clock, which he's actually a fast horse. Um, 
but I, I didn't see any real reason to sprint him or push him too fast in the, the cross country. Um, so anyway, we're, we're moving up the levels now. So he's uh, competing at what the FEI level two star now. And um, they call it a two star short. So the, the cross country course was about um, five minutes 30 or something to do the cross country. And I think my spring goal on him would be to, to potentially taking him up to Montreal, up to Bromont and do what they call the two-star long. And um, I think by then, and that's, let's see, that's in June, um, and that's a, a pretty premier event, and I think by then he'll be very, very competitive. And um, whatever direction we go, which um, I think that that, that uh, event will potentially could make him quite valuable if we choose to sell him, or it would also be a... A great stepping stone event to build him up if we decide to um, keep progressing with him. Um, so we can just sort of wait and see how he's going. But I, I think uh, we'll, we'll probably take him to one or two more events like this and um, then aim him for Bromont and then sort of regroup after Bromont and see where our Charm's career is heading. Good thing is, he's, if we do decide to sell him, his record is fantastic. Um, so he uh, he's at a level now where he's been very, very successful and everyone loves to purchase a horse at this level. Saying that, I, I do have an inkling that he uh, is a high-level horse. So um, we're in a, a, a strong position with Charm. Uh, but he's going great. We're back in Pennsylvania back uh, cantering up the hills and just gently keep working away at all, all phases. His dressage, well, he's very good at the show jumping, not, not too much work there, and then just keep gently improving his cross country and, and just ever so gently increasing his, uh, his fitness. Uh, but it's been a, a great winter so far with Charm, and uh, like I said before, he, uh, he continues to impress me and yeah, he couldn't have gone much better so far in 2023.